doing right now. Uh, I bring a huge ass chicken stop beating the hell out of it. Would you call that animal abuse? Yeah. yeah. Will you stop me also, right? Okay. So next day I come. Now there's a cat instead of the dog. I hit the dog. I, I, I hit the cat. Will you still stop me? Yeah. yeah that's animal abuse too, right? So what about a goat? So it's a goat. Yeah. Cow? Yeah. Pig? Yeah. Chicken? Yeah. Okay. Chicken. So as far as we hit, it's animal abuse. But if we hit and eat, it's not animal abuse. As this. It's not. It's not animal abuse. It's about uh, the food chain. We have to reduce something to increase something. So do, why don't we eat dogs to keep them? Because population? it's not population. The population is not high. Hmm. The population. We have to eat something to keep it down. Okay. So if I can tell you that humans are not part of the food chain, will you agree that using animals is animal abuse? I can prove it to you statistically if you want. Or you can take my word for it. Okay, if you are not part of the food chain, then yes. Yeah, I'll give you a simple reason why. Because the food chain is something that happens in the na natural environment, right? Ecosystem, right? We breed all the animals we use into existence. We feed them cultivated crops. We keep their numbers in the numbers we want them to be. Yeah. Right? So if we actually stop eating animals, they won't get overpopulated. They will actually come down to numbers they actually should be in. What do you think is the population of humans on Earth? It's too high, it's very high. But give it, give it a guess, no. I bought it. Okay, so... Seven. Seven, yeah, nearly 8 billion. Yeah. What do you think is the number of land animals we slaughter per year? Five More than that. Really? 70 billion. Really? Oh. We literally kill 10 times more than humans, animals. But we still think that animals will overpopulate if we don't kill them. That's not really not the case. We kill 70 billion each year. Did you know that only 100 billion humans have ever lived in history? If we were to kill humans at the rate we kill animals, we would go extinct in one week. <laughs> so I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you know how egg is produced? Yeah. yeah. So do you know what happens in a hatchery? Like what they do with male chicks and all? Yeah, yeah they, 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 kill. they kill them. Why? Because they, they can't, can't produce eggs. Egg. Yeah. So, when uh, in a hatchery an egg hatches, it has to be either male or female, right? So, male chicks don't lay eggs. Yeah. And uh, it is not profitable for the industries to feed, bring up hens that do not lay eggs, right? Yeah. So, what they do, they ground them up alive at one day old. Yeah. Or they tie them up in plastic bags and let them suffocate. Or they throw them into live fire to let them burn to death. Or they throw some huge heavy object on them to crush them. Or they drown them. But none of this will be in our textbooks or advertisements, right? Yeah. So similarly, in human context, I can compare this with something called female infanticide, right? So just because it's expensive to bring up someone because of their gender, they choose to kill them off. So is this any different from the victim's point of view? No. Not at all. But eating eggs is a personal choice, right? All we are taught is chickens give egg, eggs have protein, eat them. We are never taught the reality of it. So, but I'm not here to ask you to go vegetarian. I'm here to ask you to go vegan. Vegans do not even consume dairy. Do you know why? Why? Yeah, um, because dairy milk. Can you define milk for me? Two more questions. <laughs> it's, it's from it's uh, produced from a cow. cow. I did not ask what cow's milk is. I asked what milk is. Because cows are not the only animals that give milk. Right? It should be a general definition, it should be befitting any definition. It is a liquid produced feeding. Almost there, yeah. So, you see if this is accurate. Milk is the food produced by a mother for her young one. When the young one does not have teeth. Mammals, all mammals do this. It is actually protein issues. Yeah, but it is meant for their offspring, right? Yeah. Dogs also give milk for puppies. Yeah. Cats give milk for kittens. Yeah. Humans produce milk for their babies right so but we are okay with cow's milk alone we would not drink the milk of the other three species i mentioned right so at this age and time if someone told me you need the best milk of a human to be healthy it would sound absurd to me but we feel we need the milk of a cow to be healthy so let's get the necessity part out we do not need dairy products okay but we are not the victims of this it is the cow and her calf the cow only produces milk because she's a mother, right? Yeah. So, imagine this, I'm a dairy farmer. The population of India, 1.4 billion people, right? Highest in the world, we just go to China. Yeah. Do you think if I will wait for the cow to get married, have children, 
settle down, let the calf drink milk, take the excess and provide the 1.4 billion people of India with milk, pani, cheese, ghee, butter, etc. etc. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the cow pregnant. I can't wait for her to get naturally. I'm going to hold her in place, tie her up, put my hand in her private parts, insert the sperm of a cow in there without her concern. So if it were to happen to a human woman, what will you call it? Yeah, that's the word, right? So when it happens to a cow, it's just buttermilk to us. But that, that's not where it ends. The cow will have a baby after 9 to 10 months, right? So if the baby is a male cow, he won't be producing milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll just go to chop chop, right? Not daycare. So then we can use a soft skin for leather purses, belts, etc. etc. 8 to 9 years of repeated impregnation, the cow will give up at one point, right? So the average lifespan of a cow is 25 years. Do you think for 15 years they'll give the cow retirement, feed her for free without expecting anything from her? No. Where do you think she goes? Retirement? She dies. <laughs> she goes to the slaughterhouse as well. So milk and beef are two sides of the same coin. All cows used for milk end up in the beef industry. Right. So more proof of that is we, we know that India is one of the top exporters of beef, right? We are the number one consumers and producers of milk as well. And we would make we it... We don't consume beef. We just export them. Yeah. Because we have excess of cows. We drink milk yeah. and we don't eat it. You got the point. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But all cows, that's why beef is cheaper than other meat, yeah. right? Yeah. Because it's a secondary product. They were primarily used for milk. So do you think it is ethical to use animals like this? Do they deserve this? No. Definitely not. So I'll give you one perspective. This is not about food, okay? Being vegan, the bird immediately triggers a food diet kind of thing. But I'm not doing it for the diet. I've been vegan for six years. So if I tell you I'm a man, you're a woman, I have more rights than you, will that make sense? No. No, no right? No. You'll call it uh, sexism, yeah. patriarchy, male chauvinism, right? Even though men and women are anatomically different, yeah. we do not take that into account and say one is superior to the other. That's discrimination. Similarly, I'm white, you're black, you're my slave, what would you call it? Discrimination, racism. 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 Right. Even though the melanin content in our skin differs, it's not a morally relevant difference. Similarly, I'm putting forth a complaint that when we pay for animal products and services, we are discriminating against animals. I'm a human. You're an animal who's not a human. Hence, I can do anything to you. I term this as speciesism. We discrimination based on species. I think what we do to animals is oppression. So when I say I'm a vegan, I mean I don't view animals as commodities and hence I do not pay for anything that comes from animals. Be it meat, dairy products, like butter, ghee, cheese, anything, honey, eggs, leather, wool, silk, riding animals, elephant riding, horse riding, camel riding, I've done all three in my life. But I think it's unethical. Yeah. Now I regret it. Zoos, aquarium, circuses, where you enslave animals for yeah. human entertainment. So I do not support any of this. Simple reason being, if it were a human or a dog in that animal's place, I wouldn't be supporting it. So I wanted to think, yeah, yeah. One question. You are vegan, so you consume plant-based products. According to biology, plants are also living. Yeah, they are. They are. They are also living. Yeah. We can discriminate. In them. my entire uh, short speech, did I ever mention life as a factor? So, will you say that plants have life, so sexism is okay? But still... Because then you didn't get my complaint, you're only bringing up plants because we eat animals, we eat plants. No, it's not like that, it's like the argument you're putting in is about... Sentience. Yeah. But so, I'll, I'll just tell you, I understand your point. So, I feel it is okay to do it to plants, even though they're alive, because plants do not have the capacity to suffer or feel pain or, or have a consciousness. It's like even my hair grows. It will change color with time. It will fall if I have a disease. But, but I would not compare cutting my head off and cutting my hair off. I wouldn't call it the same. No, because uh, hair cells are dead cells. Every the real hair reason, cells are yeah. dead cells. The real reason is they do not have nerve endings. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Nails. Yeah. So yeah. even though yeah, so plants, even though they are alive, it means they have a biological system going on, okay? So it does not mean they actually suffer. But still, cutting them down also affects our ecosystem. It does, but veganism and environmentalism are two different issues and we need to tackle both of them. 
We don't deny that. But the point is about ethics, about causing exploitation. Do you think when we cut plants, we are exploiting plants? Just yes or no? No, right? Yes, I understand environment is being affected. But let's be honest for a moment. We mentioned how 70 to 80 billion land animals are killed every year, right? But we also need to feed them to grow them. What are they eating? Plants. Exactly. Plants, right? Yeah. Who do you think eats more plants? We or cows and pigs and goats? Land animals. We or they? Yeah. Right? So where do you think more plants are being cut? If your genuine concern is about environmentalism, where do you think more plants are being cut? Um, right? It's not the same event. If you generally care about environment, that's a separate issue which we can talk about. But right now we are talking about ethics. I'm more than okay to talk about it once we are done with the conversation. But when it comes to ethics, I want to know, are you on the same page as I am with animal exploitation? No matter how many number they are, we don't have the right to take away someone else's life when it comes from suffering, from exploitation, from murder. Right? Yeah, that's true. But Still, at the end of the day, yeah. all it matters is a person's opinion about it. Would you say the same thing if I was a racist? That my opinion matters, it's okay for me to be a racist? Wait. You'd say that's completely fine? No, it's not fine. Would you justify Hitler's actions because it was his opinion about Jews? No. But we are committing Holocaust. Because they can't talk about it. Or they can't if a human could not talk about it, is it okay to hurt a human? No, no right? We won't use the same argument when the victim looked like us. So why is when the victim looks like a little bit different? When the DNA is just a slightly bit different, but they have the same capacity to feel pain, experience the pain and suffering, the misery that they are being going through because of us. Why do we discriminate? Why is only when we discuss about animals we bring about plants? When we discuss about any other thing, we don't say what about plants, right? So, would you call yourself selfish? Generally. So let's not talk about 8 billion who are there. Let's talk about individual actions.